Now this pupil certainly needs a pupil expander. Very small pupils like this can have fibrotic elements that will require cutting or tearing to get the pupil open enough. We can see there's posterior synechia here and I am putting viscoelastic underneath after breaking the synechia to make it easier to engage the pupil border with the malugan ring, stripping more viscoelastic from the angle of the incision entry. And now the placement of the malugan ring. I don't always put it in upside down. I'm not sure why it was done in that way in this case. Or I should say I don't usually do it that way. Now this pupil is so small that we're not going to be able to engage those side loops without uh, pulling the iris with the Sinsky hook. I like the Sinsky hook to release that last loop from the injector. And then with some type of a push-pull device, engaging the loop and then pulling the iris back with the Sinsky hook. One has to be careful releasing this loop that it doesn't slip under the iris. It can be retrieved through the paracentesis with a Sinsky hook, but just best if it can be avoided. So now we certainly have a nice big pupil to do the FACO lens implant. And that has been edited down. We're showing mainly the pupil expander here. You can see the subincisional cortex was removed first. You'll note I like to use the the injector to position rather than using a cannula or a Sinsky hook. Releasing the distal loop and then using the Sinsky hook to guide the subincisional loop to be able to grasp it with the injector and now I leave that second in instrument there and push down on these loops so that they will go inside of that injector. If we don't push down on them you'll see how it caught the the edge there. That way we can remove it all into the injector. Many times we do tear the sphincter a bit with the malugan rings and they don't constrict 
as they were before, even to normal, and not unusual to lose a little pigment from the, the loops of the Malugan ring. There's the antibiotic vancomycin going under the lens. And then after confirming the wounds watertight, I'll add more vancomycin to the anterior chamber.